You want to hold by that chin tough again or around the snout, either one. Just calm that hair straight forward again. Take your curved shears. And you just want to make sure that you're not pointing. You don't want to point in towards the eyes or anything. You're just keeping that curve nice and flat up against the head there. And you're just going to trim this little visor. Again, just let that curve be the, the guide there. You're not trying to do it yourself. Just let that be what guides you and makes that line. And you just want to get, go all the way down to the base of that ear. And then just come up a little bit just to blend this front line. Just a tiny bit. You can see um, if there's anything sticking out. Just make sure you get it all the way down there. So that way nothing's going to be in the eyes. Just make sure you know nothing's sticking out after you look at it. And then make sure you comb out the beard. Once you get one side combed out, you want to hold the ear and you're just going to come. You want to flip your shears around backwards again so that you're coming in with that curve. You're just going to come down and underneath there, all the way to the front. Just make sure you're making a nice straight cut there. Again, your shears are going to make that natural. Question mark, sweetie. Your shears are going to make that natural curve of the face for you, making it nice and round. So once you get that done, hold the head back up. You want to brush that beard down again. Take your shears and just come over. And kind of anything that's sticking up from the top. It's nice and smooth. And then come to the front. Just make sure that you have a nice even looking round line. Then we're just going to come over to the other side. Again, just calm the beard down. And again, just hold your ear. And you can go with the curve of your shears again, all the way down to the front. And you can take however much off you want, depending on how long you want the face. But I don't take too much off because I want it to look nice and natural. And once you do that, again, keep that ear flipped over. Come over top, anything you see sticking out. And then underneath again, just make sure you have a nice even round line. And this time when you're looking at it, make sure both sides are even and that there's nothing sticking out up underneath the beard. And with these kind of dogs, when they eat in their water bowl, um, they get like this wet area around here. So if you want to, you can comb straight down. Just take your curved shears and just barely take a little bit of that off, kind of angling to the back part of the beard on both sides. And that right underneath the chin there. And that way it doesn't leave as much for as much to get caught up underneath the water bowl when they're drinking.